Okay, so here's an introduction or second day that we're going to be going over how to find the slope graphically. I'm basically going to have four clicks. My first click is going to be wherever this red dot fits on the line. I'm going to start on the left and I'm going to follow the line. Now notice how that red dot it's shifted a little bit to the left. That doesn't work. Notice how it's shifted to the right. It doesn't work. But when I get down to this point right here, it actually sits right on the line. There's my first click. Now I'm going to travel down the line. And if the red dot sits on the line, then I'm at the right point. So no, it's off the line, off the line, still off the line, although it's getting closer and still off the line. And finally, when I get down to here where the number two is, that's where the line snaps where my red line is exactly the same as the blue line. When I get to this point, I'm going to travel to the left, and then I'm going to go ahead and click a second time. And notice that I have a vertical line here. So if I travel from the first line, I go down one, two, three, four, five. And when I come down here for the slope, I do forward slash, and because I went down five, I put negative five. I scroll back up. I'm going to click on the dot that I had right there. And now I'm going to move to the right. One, two, three. Click. And so then I move to the right three units. And so I put a three on the bottom. I'm just going to double check to make sure that we went down five, right three. So down one, two, three, four, five, right, one, two, three. Yep, we're good to go. All right, let's get a new problem. Okay, so again, I want to start on the left. And if the line fits perfectly on the blue line, I'm good to go. No, 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 no. Oh, that's close, but not quite. There's my first intersection. Now I will give you a hint. It's wherever the blue or the diagonal line intersects like a vertical and a horizontal. It's like a crosshairs. No, 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 no. Although that's really close. Notice that it, the red line goes slightly below and finally over here. Now don't click the button a second time yet. Travel back to the left. All right, cool. So let's go from the first point and let's count down. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that seems to be like a pattern here. So because I went down five, I'm going to put negative five back to my line. I'm going to click on the corner and I'm going to move to the right. One, two, three, four. Because I moved to the right, it's bigger. It's going to be a positive. So my answer for this one will be negative five over four. That's it. So all you have to do is really write m equals negative 5 over 4 or just negative 5 over 4. Okay. Start on the left. Nope. No. Ah, there we go. First click. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And there, there's the intersection. Notice how the blue line meets that horizontal and vertical right there. Once you meet that, don't click on it a second time. Travel back to the left to make the vertical. Click on it. I went down one, two units. So coming down here to my slope, I'm going to put a negative two in the top because I went down two. I'm going to click on the second point. And I'm going to move to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. And because I moved to the right five, well, that's going to be a positive five. So negative two over five. New problem. Okay, this one we can actually see the slope and the line at the same time. Okay, so that one, we're, lu we're lucky we got it right away. And it looks like you have these two points that are right next to each other. Although I shouldn't have clicked on that, shouldn't I? have? So click there. This is where I want to go, so now I'm going to travel back to the left. And how far did I go down? Well, I went down one unit. So when I put my fraction bar, I'm going to put negative one. And let's see, then I'm coming back and I'm going to move, go to the right one. And I'm going to put a positive one. Now I want to let you know, if you put negative one over one in there, it's actually going to say that it's wrong. And just to show you that, I'm going to, well, 
if you put negative 1 over 1, that actually simplifies to just negative 1. Let's see if it'll let me do that. No, it says it's wrong. So just to clarify, if you end up with a negative 1 over 1, make sure you simplify that to negative 1. But I kind of hinted that early. Okay, the same thing would happen if you had a positive 1 over 1, then this would simplify to a positive 1. Okay. Let's try this one. Starting way over here. And it looks like we've got that negative 1 over 1 again. So here, let me get rid of this. Okay. So there is my line. I'm going to move back to the left. I'm going to click a second time. And I went down 1. So when I put my fraction here, that's going to be a negative 1 in the top. I'm going to click on that point and move to the right. And I went to the right one. But just like we said in the last one, when you have negative 1 over 1, that will simplify to just being negative 1. And now we got the correct answer. Do you think we could get any that are positive? Or they're all negative? Finally, a positive one. Okay. Starting on the left. No, no, no. There it is. And again, once you see the blue line intersect that horizontal and vertical, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. And there, that's when it snaps to the line. But now we're going to move back to the left to make our vertical. And notice that from the first point to the second point, I went up one. So for the fraction bar, I'm going to have one in the top. And then I'm going to click on it. I'm going to move to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And I moved five to the right, and that's positive. Ah, here's another positive one. No, there we go, right there. And there we go right there. So there's my intersection at snap to line. I'm going to move to the left, make my vertical. To go from point 1 to point 2, I went up 2. So I'm, when I put my fraction, I'm going to have a positive 2 in the numerator. Then I'm going to click on this point, and I'm going to move to the right 1 unit. So that's going to be 2 over 1, which I suppose you could simplify it to 2, but delta math does accept 2 over 1. Let's submit that. Good to go. Maybe a couple more. I don't know. Here's another positive one. Let's do this. No. There. That's a good point. You should start to see these now where the diagonal crosses a horizontal and vertical, the crosshairs. There it is right there. So when it snaps to the line, move back to the left to make your vertical. And I went up one, two, three. So coming back down here for slope. I'm going to put 3 on the top because I went up 3. I'm going to click on this negative 5 and I'm going to move to the right 2 units. And because I moved to the right, that's going to be a rise 3 over 2. And let's see if we can get one more positive. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll do one more positive and we'll call it quits because we're about, this is, I want to keep this video less than 20 minutes. Sorry, 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, so no, there it is right there. And again, notice the diagonal crosses that horizontal and vertical. And right there. Don't click on it a second time. Remember, always move to the left. Once it snaps to the line a second time, move it back to the left to get your vertical line. Got it. So point 0.1 to point 0.2, I went up 2. So I'm going to put a positive 2 in the numerator. Click a third time now, and I'm going to move to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there you have it. So it's going to be positive 2 over 5. Um, just a general uh, review. If numbers move up into the right, they're positive. And if they move down into the right, they're negative. So we've been doing a lot of positives here. Let's see if we can hit up a negative really fast just to show you. So that's going to be positive again. It goes up and right. That's positive again, up and right. That's negative. That goes down and right. That's negative, it goes down and right. That's still negative, down and right. But you get the idea. So hopefully you find this video helpful.